welcome back to the homestead. How about some sourdough banana bread? I have two sticks of softened butter, two cups of sugar, two eggs, two teaspoons vanilla extract, two cups of fresh sourdough starter. This is hungry. I fed it last night, stirred it really well this morning, and then I just measured it a little bit ago. I have four bananas that I have mashed already, and four cups of flour, one teaspoon salt, and one teaspoon baking soda. In a medium-sized bowl, I'm going to start by mixing my flour with my baking soda and my salt. Blend all of those well. And then I'm going to set this to the side. Then in a separate larger bowl, I'm going to add my butter and the sugar. Mix those together until they're blended well. And then I'm going to add my eggs. and my bananas, which I've already mashed. Now what I like to do with my bananas, when they get too ripe to eat, and, or and enjoy fresh, I like to just put them in the freezer. The whole banana, just put it in there, peels and all, um, and just leave it in there until I'm ready to use it. When I'm ready to use it, then I take it out of the freezer, uh, let them soften up and come to room temperature, then I peel them and mash them. And guys, they turn into the sweetest bananas by doing that. And they mash really well, and they're just perfect for your banana bread recipe. Add my vanilla. Stir that in. And then I'm going to add my sourdough starter. Once you've added the sourdough starter, you wanna be careful not to over mix. So if you're using a blender up until this point or um, a mixer, from this point on, you really want to just use a whisk. You uh, want it more folded, not so much stirred or mixed. And then I'm going to add my flour mixture. And I always use unbleached flour. This is just all-purpose flour, but it is unbleached. When you're working with sourdough, always use unbleached flour. All of my ingredients are mixed well together. There's no dry flour. And I have two bread pans that I've already pre-greased with uh, just some melted butter. So I'm going to pour about half of this mixture in each one. Can you guys tell what my favorite color is? I think it might be red. Smooth it out just a little bit. And my oven has been preheating to 350 degrees. So I'm going to place these on the middle rack and then I'll bake them for an hour and do the toothpick test to make sure that they're ready. Y'all, I wish we had smell-o-vision. My kitchen smells absolutely amazing right now. Um, by the way, I know that most of you know this, but I shouldn't assume. So the toothpick test means you insert a toothpick in the center of um, your cake or your bread, and when that toothpick comes out clean and there's no batter that's sticking to it, that means that it's done baking. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.